Hi, I'm Bishop Jeff Haynes, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, and welcome to today's Daily Reflection. Today's reflection is based on the Gospel of John, chapter 11. When this Gospel opens, uh, Lazarus has been raised from the dead, and this causes the Jewish officials to gather for a secret meeting. And they're discussing what happened in that special miracle by Jesus, and they're afraid of what might happen now because the, the reputation of Jesus is spreading. And there's some worry that there might be a rebellion. There's some worry that the, the Romans might come down upon them and make things difficult for the Jewish leadership. So Caiaphas, the high priest at the time, he has a plan, a secret plan, and he says, it's really necessary for this one man to die so that we can save the nation. And of course, that's really a very human plan based on expediency, political things, and a desire to hold on to power. But God has much greater plans than that. For as Jesus later says in the Gospel of John, nobody is going to take his life from him. He will give it. Nobody takes it from me, he says. I freely offer it. And he offers it for such, such something much more wonderful and wondrous than, than mere political plans because his, his, his offering of his life is not just to save a nation, but all nations, all people for all time, conquering sin and leading them to salvation in the kingdom of God. I was having a bit of a Caiaphas moment the other day and I was just kind of thinking to myself, you know, wouldn't it be wonderful if this coronavirus pandemic would just go away and we could go back to the way things were? But that's human planning, like Caiaphas and the Jewish officials. Like Jesus, there's a much grander plan in store for us, and I would like to think that's the case that we would embrace as we look forward to the future. That as we go through this time, we would learn special things, not to go back to the way we were, but to be better. For example, we might, after going through this time of quarantining and sequestering, that we might actually say, you know what, I really value community. I've got to work more at building unity and togetherness and spending more time and attention respecting the people who right now are showing their great courage and bravery. Those people doing those everyday tasks to keep life going, whether it be our police officers, our firefighters, um, all of the people who are driving trucks and delivering food and all those things we need to keep life going. And what about the doctors and the nurses and the caregivers who are showing such amazing unselfishness that we come to respect them and what they do even more. And how about our faith? As we're kept from our places of worship because of the stay-at-home regulations, wouldn't it be wonderful that, that when the doors are opened again in the future, we don't just open the doors, but we fill the church? That's the grand plan of God. Hopefully we're being led in that direction. So thank you for joining us today. Come back tomorrow for another daily reflection. In the meantime, be safe, stay healthy. God bless you.